politics, you all were fighting for you all's freedom and equality against who? The British. Your forefathers and your foremothers. 1776, you still had chattel slaves, did you not? We did. All right. And thereafter, up until 1865, you released them from chattel slavery, but put them into another form of slavery immediately, which was the prison system, the convict lease system. You see what I'm saying? So okay. now we, were, we have not only inherited physical slavery, but we've also inherited spiritual slavery under the form of that you, people were asking, why do you have the Bibles on the ground? How do you think we are spiritually enslaved? With that Christianity, that white Jesus that the slave master has put on the African's mind. But it doesn't now, say that Jesus was white. Now, I know that. Okay. We know He's that. saying white people Listen, brought Christianity Listen, Revelation 21, 13, okay. no, we know that that disproves Oh man, we got a crowd. I started some. Ooh, ooh, I did. Y'all can come in and listen if y'all are going there truly and quiet and not try to interject while I'm speaking to them. But we know that Revelation 21 13 says that he had hair like wool mm -hmm. and skin like bronze. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, it doesn't matter what is said in the Bible, but what is put forth and what is perpetuated. The interpretation that is perpetuated. The interpretation that was perpetuated was that Jesus was white. Okay, so what do you do psychologically? The, the psychosis of religion is that a people always put themselves in the image of their Savior, their God, so they see that they are one with God and they act as God and they do what they feel God wants uh, to happen for them. God is simply self. Everybody gets this lesson except for the African who has been colonized by the European. So what you do to the African when you give them a white Jesus is you are saying, I am the closest related to God, therefore you defer to me. That subconscious white supremacy that you're instilling in the African mind that African people don't seem to get when they praise white Jesus. But they praise a black Jesus. And they actually start to read the revolutionary text that was actually install, still installed in the, in the European Bibles. You'll see that Jesus wasn't all docile and neutral or loving. He was flipping tables and clearing temples out with bullwhips, you see, when people were doing wicked things. So when you start to embody that revolutionary spirit as Christ did, was he not a revolutionary in the Bible? So if people are, say, are saying we need to be Christians, do you really know what it means to be a Christian? It means not to conform to the social order. Was this a conformity to the social order, what I did? Not at all. So who's God right now? Who's truly acting in the Christ consciousness? Not you all. Not them, but us. Us who act in the Christ consciousness. We embody what it means to be a Christ being, a Christ vehicle, a Christ vessel. You see what I'm saying? So the meaning... The meaning, I want y'all to focus on me. I know what she's saying. The meaning, <laughs> the meaning for the stepping on the flag was that that flag represents white supremacy, racism, which is plaguing the entire earth, you see? So when we step on that flag, we're stepping on racism, white supremacy. We're stepping on those things that mean that we're erected alongside our genocide and our Holocaust. We're stepping, we're releasing those chains from our mental capacity and from our physical capacity. That actually makes sense. Okay. You see? So you're not see, that's stepping why on the people who are see. serving. You're not spitting on the people who are serving overseas He's at all. You're spitting on the idea, idea of the... Roxanne? That makes sense. That makes sense. That's, that's why I came and asked. Yeah. Right. And I'm glad you all came and asked yeah. because I'm sure the white media put it forth that I am a terrorist. And indeed I am. I'm a terrorist towards lies. I'm a terrorist towards liars. I'm a terrorist towards those who are wicked. So yes, I am a terrorist towards white people. You see? So... It needs to be understood and what I was just saying to her, what I'm saying to you all is a warning of death that is coming upon this nation if y'all don't turn from y'all's ways. And this is the collective white race, but not just here in America, globally, all Europeans, you're not even indigenous to Europe. In every nation or every region of the planet Earth that you're in, you are an invader. Go back historically, the British invaded damn near half of the world. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And other Europeans have invaded other regions of the world. But all, every time you've gone in, what have you done? You have done nothing but destroy. We were, and mind you, again, historically, one thing that most people don't know, it was Africans who brought civilization to Europe. Twice. Once under the Egyptians, we were bringing in the, the Greeks and the Romans, and then the second time under the Black Moors, who we were bringing in and truly establishing the elaboration of civilization. So that's why we step on that flag because that flag represents lies it represents deceit it represents the glory of white people that they like to put forth and here's the thing you can see the psychosis of europeans where they value the, the menial things and not the grander things where are we at we're in Valdosta, georgia right kendrick johnson's death was covered up so you care more about a cloth on the ground and me stepping on it with a boot than a, than a black man's body. death 
you're out your fucking mind. White people have been out their fucking mind ever since they stepped out of Europe. So that's what it is.